Hello super user. So today we are going to be learning how to have two different time signatures in different parts. Uh, and it's actually really quite simple to set up. So first we're going to come over to our staff tool and then we're just going to select the staff that we want to have an independent time signature from the rest. Double click that staff and you will get to the staff attributes box. Then just come down here to time signature under independent elements and that will give you an independent time signature for the staff. You could also do the same thing with a key signature or with the types of note heads you use. So now that we've selected independent time signature, just want to hit OK and then come back up to that same staff, in this case it's violin 1, and pick whatever new time signature you want. It can be one of the presets or you can make your own. Uh, for now, let's just go into 12.8. And as you can see, now we have 12.8 on this first part and we have 4.4 on the rest of the parts. And that's really cool. And furthermore, Finale will do its best to make sure everything plays back correctly when you do it this way. So for instance, if I were to just insert a bunch of notes, so first I'm just going to make a simple pattern like this, and let's duplicate this four times like that. And then we come down here to the bottom, and let's do a completely different note. And we're going to come over here to the bottom, and we're just going to write another rhythm like that. And then just how you can really hear, I'm just going to make everything staccato. And now let's hear it play back. That's how they play back correctly. Now the one thing to keep in mind is when you have two time signatures in finale, where the cursor may not line up with the notes, and it will try to make sure that every measure is equal to every other measure. So if we were to add an independent time signature here uh, for 5-4, and let's add a 5-4 measure. On an A, make it nice and staccato, and we're just going to play back so we have these two. Well, here it sounds like 5 against 4, rather than having a 5-4 measure where all the quarter notes are the same to the 4-4. Four, four. It'll play back measure equals measure. And so that's how you create two different time signatures in the score. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button so I know you want more content just like this. And each week I post new videos about how to use Finale to its fullest. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a new video comes out.